He came, he spoke, he forgot to sign. He'll be signing that executive order. Looks like maybe he was about to leave and now they're directing him back to remind him. There's really only one main thing you have to do at an executive order signing ceremony and the president forgot until Vice President Pence tapped him. Mr. President, Thank you, everybody. Mr. President you need to sign it. <laughs> I'm only signing it because it costs nothing. The president wrote his signature while critics wrote jabs. One pretended to be the Secretary of State. Okay, Mr. President, I'm ready to take the IQ test when you are. Now let's not forget, this forgetting to sign at a signing ceremony has happened before. Back in March, the president was supposed to sign two executive orders on trade, but he was in a hurry to leave as reporters peppered him with questions. Were you trying to do that, Mr. President? Was that your intention, Mr. President, sir? Again, it was VP Pence who reminded him he hadn't signed the orders. The president gestured to the vice president to go get them, and they ended up getting signed elsewhere. Of course, if there's no on-camera signing, then there are no documents for internet photoshoppers to doctor with nicknames like Dotard and Rocket Man. Thank you all very much. But there are worse things than leaving prematurely. At least President Trump didn't get locked in. Ginimo, CNN, New York. <laughs>